So I finally got my living room the way I want it. 90% of the way. If you look behind me, there's this big, huge wall that I really needed to fill because there's something that just seems missing here. So just like magic, I became Picasso and voila. If you see behind me here, we have three beautiful canvas paintings that I did myself. Not only did I save a whole lot of money doing it myself, but I channel the inner creative me the artiste i would say so not only am i now an artist but i also save money so i am winning and i want to help you win too stay tuned and i'll show you how i got all right so lay down a surface that you can work on i'm using a plastic bag because my drop cloth is completely dirty and painted all over so I used a garbage bag, but use something because this is going to get messy. All right, I'm putting down all the supplies that I use, but unfortunately I didn't stop to really show it. So I will just list it in the description box below. But pretty much I use this canvas. It is a 24 by 48 inch canvas that I got from Michaels. Oh, it was a steal. I had a 50% coupon. It was $30. I got it for $15. You cannot beat it. Then I got a whole bunch of glitter um, in different textures and different sizes. Fine glitter, coarse glitter, and I even got some crushed glass. But all of it can be found at Michael's. That's where I got all my stuff from, but you can get it from anywhere in your local arts and craft store. All right, so I'm using acrylic paint, I'm using gunmetal, I'm using white, I'm using stormy gray, I'm using nickel. I mixed metallic, I mixed regular satin, I, I mixed matte, just had fun with it, okay? The rule of thumb, doesn't really matter what colors you use, I just like to start from the darkest to the lightest, or you can start from the lightest to the darkest just to create a gradient. So listen, there is no rule here, just watch me, I'm having fun. But here's a tip. It is very helpful to have a bowl of water because it helps the paint to spread easily. Okay, so you don't have to use a whole bunch of paint. It's not gonna get sticky and dry on you. Just have a bowl of water and have fun. There is literally no real method to this. Remember, you are the artist. And let me just take this time to say, if you have not yet subscribed, then please consider subscribing to this channel. On this channel, we do a lot of DIYs. We do a lot of things pertaining to the household and family and lifestyle. And yes, we are a little dysfunctional, but who isn't a little dysfunctional in today's day and age? Come on, click that like button if you know that there's a tad bit of dysfunction going on in your family. <laughs>
and then spread it out as much as just remember wherever you put the glitter here it's going to stick so just be mindful of that wherever you want your glitter is where you're going to be putting your mod podge Now let me just warn you because I did make this mistake earlier in another project. So um, the most expensive thing here besides the canvas is going to be the crushed glass. So you don't want to waste it and you definitely want it to be seen on the canvas. Not only that, but it creates really good texture. So I'm saving that for last, okay? Normally rule of thumb is you use the hard, the coarsest um, texture first and then you layer it with finer textures i did that with the glitter but i did not put the crushed glass on yet okay what i'm doing is i'm just tapping the back of this canvas to evenly distribute the glitter it is going to get messy don't worry about it but definitely do have fun and be creative Now this is not a necessary step, you don't have to do this, but I use gloves because you know glitter is really hard to get off the hands. And we're dealing with glue, we're dealing with coarse glitter, so I didn't want to use my hand. But what I'm doing is I'm kind of pressing it into the glue and also the excess that's on my hand, I'm just using it to just spread on the canvas to diffuse the glitter a little. And here is the part that I really love. I'm using the Mod Podge in the middle, just in the middle. Now, I do not have a lot of crushed glass because the store didn't have a lot. Trust me, I would have bought all of them, but they didn't have a lot. So I had to use antique silver and vintage gold, which ended up being really, really pretty. The gold really made it pop. So what I did is I mixed the two And just in the middle, I sprinkled it, okay? Now, if you can see, there's some still, some wet Mod Podge that's um, around it. You can try to distribute it by tapping it the way I did, but if you still see some wet spots, then just fill it in with the other glitter that you have. But the crushed glass is so pretty. It, this, this does not do me any justice. You have to see it up close and personal. It's so pretty. And so if I could have found more, I would have used more, okay? But they didn't have, unfortunately for me. But hopefully you will have better, um, better luck. Now put this somewhere where it can remain untouched for at least 12 hours to dry. And if you are putting it in a heavy, high traffic area, then you can also go back over it again one more time with a high gloss Mod Podge. All right, so here it is, there it is. This is it in my living room. Um, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you found this project fun. I hope that you give it a try. Comment down below, tell me if you like this or not. Until next time. Bye.